shooting the stars with your phone camera. Can it be done? Of course it can be done. That's what I do on this channel. Today what we're doing is the S22 Ultra astrophotography. Let's get into it. Now to do this, we're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need some nice clear skies. We'll talk about that in a second. You're gonna need the phone. You're going to need a phone holder. This is a Ulanzi one here, but it doesn't really matter what type it is. And you're going to need a tripod. And again, it doesn't matter what tripod you have. Uh, most tripods are going to be rated at weight. So if you get uh, a reasonably good tripod, it's gonna do the job just fine. It just doesn't wanna collapse on you, that's all. The only other bit of kit that you really want is a torch. And this torch here, it's incrementally bright. So you can adjust the brightness of this torch and we're gonna use this for light painting any subject that is in front of us here. And what I've got going on here, a little bit of cloud out there. So I'm shooting this way here tonight. I'm gonna to shoot the tail of the galactic core. But there's a few trees in the foreground here, which I'll use this torch to bring a little bit of detail out in it. A little bit of cloud, it looks like it's moved since I've started recording. So I've taken a couple of test shots here earlier, and this is what they look like. But I can see now that where the core is, it's actually clearing a little bit. So we're gonna try there and see what we can get. Now with your settings in pro mode, you're gonna use ISO 3200. Yes, you're probably gonna get some noise, but we can fix that later. And if we need to, we can change that to 1600 and take another photo anyway. So ISO 3200, shutter speed 30 seconds. Yes, we're probably gonna get a little bit of star trails, but it's a phone. And we're gonna have manual focus. We're gonna put on 0.08 on that sliding scale and we're good to go. All right, that first photo looks pretty good. You can start seeing the galactic core in the top of the photo there, but the tree is just, a, we're all a little bit too low. I wanna aim it up a little bit higher. So what we're gonna do is shine the torch onto that tree that's right there to get our composition just right. I've got the tree there, hitting it with the torch light, bringing it up to just on the bottom of the frame, tighten that up. And I reckon, I reckon we're good to go. That's taking another photo right now. It takes 30 seconds, so it's a while here to wait. After we do this, I'm gonna shoot in Expert Raw, which is the Samsung app that comes with this phone. If it's not on the phone, download it from the Samsung store. That's finished now, let's have a look at that. Holy shit. that's incredible. This is probably, yeah, wow. The detail in that core is amazing. I think this is probably the best phone I've taken a photo of that galactic core with, well, ever. That's amazing. That turned out incredibly well. What we're gonna do now is shoot raw because pretty much everything that I shoot at night time with the stars, I wanna shoot in raw because we're going to edit these photos anyway. So we're gonna open up Expert Raw and all the settings that I'm going to use here are exactly the same. The difference is it's going to give me more editing power in Adobe Lightroom after I take the photo. So I'm just gonna take another photo, I'll show you what they look like compared to each other, the raw file and the regular JPEG that the phone took just a second ago. And uh, then we'll get into editing. This is bloody impressive. I'm really impressed with how good this thing is taking these photos. All right, now we've got the raw file and the JPEG file. Let's go and have a look at how to edit these things up in Adobe Lightroom. Let's go. That was really bloody impressive. So what we've got going on here is different settings my skies where I am here are incredibly dark. If you're living near a, a pretty populated area, light pollution is certainly going to come into play and you need to adjust some of those settings accordingly. First thing I would do is drop that ISO down to 1600. You may even need to bring it as low as 800 to get less light from that light pollution into your photo. If you hit 800, the next thing you should do is go with your shutter speed and drop that down to say 20 seconds and try it again. If all that's failing, chances are your skies are just too bright from that light pollution, whether it be from the moon or from a nearby town, and you're gonna to need to go hop in your car, go for a drive and be able to take this sort of photo. There's a nice resource online, I've done videos about this before, with lightpollutionmap.info. Go there and you type in the place that you're in, it'll tell you how light polluted that area is and how successful you're likely to be with this sort of photo. Let's look at the editing of this. So I'm going to use what the export expert raw file that I shot here tonight. And that's the photo right there. So the two ways you can edit these sorts of photos with Lightroom. One, you can use presets. And if you head over to shanemoston.com, I've got some presets over there specifically for this sort of photo. And they're like five bucks for a set. So they're cheapest chips and they help this channel keep on going. 
So if you're also, if you're a member on this channel, if you've got the join button down the bottom there, uh, you can actually go over there. You've got a code. You get all of my preset packs for free. But what we're going to do today is edit up this photo from scratch. It won't take long at all, especially with the new masking tool that Adobe has. So if we swipe all the way over to the right or left hand side, before we do this though, my thought process around editing this sort of photo. There's detail in that galactic core. There's really good detail in that and I want to bring that detail out. The foreground element in that tree, it looks pretty good as well. We don't need to do too much to that. So I'm going to go to the masking tool, hit plus and let Adobe work its magic right here. Hit select sky, it's going to search for the sky and it's going to give me a really good mask for that sky so we can edit just that sky. Here it is here, everything that's in pink now, any adjustment that we make is only going to affect what is in pink. So first thing we do is go to effects, every single astro photo I've ever taken with any phone has got a bit of haze to it and it's always going to benefit from this slider here and in my humble opinion if you're going to do this sort of photography on a regular basis get Adobe Lightroom because this is just nuts for doing this sort of photo. So I've increased that dehazing somewhere between 30 and 40 is where I'll usually be. That's a little bit higher than that but I don't mind that where it is. Let's bring that back up. We'll go with that 27. I quite like how that is there. I look at the color now that's in the sky and I can see there's a little bit of green tinge to it and it's certainly cool. So because we've shot in raw, we can adjust things here. Let's get rid of that green tinge first and that green tinge is specifically from a little bit of cloud that's still in the sky. So I'm gonna increase the magenta tint until that green's pretty well gone. And it's, and it's pretty well gone right there. And I'm going to make that whole photo, the whole sky just that little bit warmer, not by a lot, very, very little. Quite happy with that. I'm just going to go back to the effects tab and increase the clarity. As I'm doing this, I'm watching, constantly watching that galactic core to see what's happening with it. I like that as well. We'll go to a light and we're going to add a little bit of contrast, just a little, and decrease the blacks, just that little bit. And that's it. As far as the sky goes, that's all I want to do. I hit the tick up the top and I'm going to look at the noise now, the overall noise, because remember we shot this at 3200. So if I go over to detail and I'm going to increase that noise reduction right there. Bring that to about 25 or so to zoom in, see how it looks. And it looks pretty bloody good. Now if I just touch on that screen, touch and hold, you're going to see the before and after of what this editing has done. And I think that looks pretty bloody good. We now export it, save it to the device, and we're done. That's the editing all done. You need to edit these sorts of astro photos. It's really, really handy to be able to shoot in RAW from this device, because I'm telling you now, I'm gonna have some bloody good fun with this thing. That is one of the best photos with a galactic core that I've ever taken from a mobile phone. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll catch you next week. See you later.